Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new episode of Portrait Journeys with Da Vinci. Hello, art enthusiasts. I am Leonardo da Vinci, an artist, inventor, visionary of the Italian Renaissance, and your guide on this enthralling journey through the captivating world of art. In our last exploration, we marveled at the revolutionary use of color by the Venetian master Titian, whose legacy continues to shape the Renaissance narrative. Today our journey takes a delightful turn as we delve into the artistry of Judith Leister. A pioneering woman of the Dutch Golden Age, Leister's paintings stand as a testament to her skill, creativity, and the unique perspective she brought to the canvas. Among her masterpieces such as The Proposition, The Last Drop, and A Boy and a Girl with a Cat and an Eel, each unfolds a unique narrative, capturing Leicester's distinctive vision of human interactions and portraiture. Join us as we unravel the stories concealed within the canvas of Judith Leicester, a remarkable artist whose contributions deserve to shine brightly in the tapestry of art history. Born in the vibrant artistic city of Harlem, Judith Leister entered a world where artistic pursuits were predominantly male-dominated. She was the eighth child of Jan Willems Leister, a local brewer, and her journey into the realm of art began with uncertain details about her training. Some scholars speculate that Leister pursued a career in painting to help support her family after her father's bankruptcy. She may have learned painting from Franz Peters de Greber, who was running a respected workshop in Harlem. During this time, her family moved to the province of Utrecht, and she might have also been in touch with some of the Utrecht Caravagisti. She was admitted as a member of the Harlem Guild of St. Luke. Some sources say she was the first woman registered by the Guild. It has been suggested that Leicester's self-portrait may have been her presentation piece to the Guild. This work marks a shift from the rigidity of earlier women's self-portraits toward a more relaxed, dynamic pose. It is very relaxed by the standards of other Dutch portraits and comparable to some of Franz Hals's work. Leister married Jan Minze Molinaire, a fellow artist of considerable talent. Their union not only marked a personal milestone, but also introduced a collaborative aspect to their artistic pursuits. Together, they shared a studio, creating a unique synergy that enriched their creative expressions. However, the challenges faced by female artists in the 17th century were substantial. Many of Leicester's artworks were misattributed to her husband or even Franz Hals, contributing to a historical oversight that obscured her individual contributions to the art world. Leicester's artistic prowess truly shone in her specialization, portrait-like genre scenes that typically featured one to three figures. Her unique touch brought these compositions to life, portraying subjects exuding good cheer against a simple, plain background. In her depictions, we often encounter the joy of children or the camaraderie of men sharing a drink. What set Leicester apart was her remarkable innovation in crafting domestic genre scenes. Within these quiet moments, she captured the essence of women at home, often illuminated by the warm glow of candles or lamplight, What makes these scenes truly distinctive is the perspective, 
Leicester skillfully presented them from a woman's point of view. This innovative approach added a layer of authenticity and intimacy to her work, making her contributions to the genre truly noteworthy. Leicester's technique involves a lively use of color and confident brush strokes. She embraces a bold palette, creating a visual feast that captivates the viewer. The play of light in her works adds a dimension of realism and atmosphere, setting her apart as a master of her craft. Now let us explore her masterpieces. In the delightful portrayal, a boy and a girl with a cat and an eel, we encounter a nuanced scene that has sparked various interpretations. Some suggest a moralistic perspective tied to the Dutch proverb, holding an eel by the tail, symbolizing the transient nature of possession. The little girl's engaging eye contact and the playful wag of her finger add layers to the narrative, leaving room for viewers to contemplate the consequences of her actions. In this charming composition, Leicester skillfully captures the innocence and playfulness of youth. The Last Drop the canvas unfolds a tale of revelry and the inevitable embrace of inebriation. The presence of a skeleton, a familiar motif representing death, adds a layer of symbolism to the scene. As the men revel in the darkened ambience, blinded by the effects of drink, the skeleton gleefully partakes in their dissipation. This composition, paired with Leicester's earlier work, Merry Trio, serves as a visual narrative of the stages of drinking, illuminating the transition from the evening's merriment to the later, darker hours of intoxication. Contrasting societal expectations, the proposition challenges traditional depictions of women in art. Rather than a provocative scene, Leicester presents a woman engaged in an ordinary domestic chore dressed modestly and showing no overt interest in the propositioning man. The painting, misnamed by some as The Tempting Offer, showcases the critic's misunderstanding of Leicester's intent. The foot warmer, a subtle yet significant detail, acts as a pictorial code, signifying the woman's marital status. Leicester, with her keen observation of daily life, challenges prevailing norms and invites viewers to reconsider their perceptions of women's roles in the domestic sphere. Despite the challenges of her time, Judith Leister's artistry transcends gender constraints. She not only broke barriers, but also left an indelible mark on the canvas of art history. Her legacy endures as an inspiration for generations to come. Thank you for embarking on this artistic voyage with us. If you found inspiration in the brushstrokes of Judith Leister and the timeless influence of art, consider subscribing to our channel. Explore the links in the description for a curated selection of art products inspired by the Portrait Masters. Your support ensures that we can continue unraveling the secrets and stories behind the portraits that shape our world. Stay tuned for the next episode of Portrait Journeys with Da Vinci and always remember, art will never die.